Should you buy Luigi's Mansion? Supernatural phenomenon aside, is this place worth what is likely at least a million dollars? That is a question we shall answer by judging every room in this place based on its looks, purpose, and overall vibe. Before we begin, I should clarify that I am no real estate agent nor home designer. I'm just a guy that likes cool looking houses, so I will probably call a lot of things in this place by the wrong name, in which case do your best to ignore my stupidity in calling a door a chair and I'm sure you'll have a good time. Right after Luigi walks through the chairs, you're greeted with the foyer, which has this really nice open design. Now I know foyers are normally known for that kind of design, but this one in particular just, just, just exudes some good vibes. Vibes. You could see a clock up here, which seems to be stuck at 3 o'clock, because no matter how long you wait here in this foyer, it will not change at all. This might be the one game where I actually find Toad Q, which is kind of sad because he doesn't come with the mansion, assumedly. <laughs> you know, I never understood how they managed to get carpet upstairs. That might sound like a stupid thing to like point out, but like, look at this. How do you, how do you even do that? Well, I mean, the textures make it look like it's fused with the wood itself, but we're gonna have to do some suspension and disbelief as we critique all the architecture here. But wow, look at the foyer, man. Like, I changed some of the colors. The ceiling being green is a very odd decision. Like, I know it's Luigi's Mansion, but you have to keep in mind that they did not specifically make this mansion for Luigi. So, seeing a green ceiling here feels a little odd, and there are some cracks here. This this place is definitely a fixer-upper. You're probably gonna have to pour in a few hundred K. I mean, I'm not the one buying this house. We're doing this for you, so you see all these cracks. If, if you're cool with it, that's fine. I, I wouldn't really deal with that. I'd probably pour in some money to fix this place up. One thing you'll notice in particular, not just with this room, but the whole place in general, is that it is really really dusty i want you to look at the absolute trail of dust that luigi leaves behind as he runs around check out all the dust that pours out whenever you open drawers like this or whenever you mess with these little torches these little candles even when you like try to bump on the wall or whatever you can see some dust that emanates from it it is just absolutely ridiculous how much dust is in this place you're gonna have to get like a billion brooms and clean the whole area luigi finds this chandelier simply delightful which i find pretty funny because i'm pretty sure this is the same chandelier that just absolutely scares him when he first enters this place so i'm glad that he has a change of heart <laughs> also those windows in the background are a little strange don't you think they're kind of hard to see through i know this place is based on like a Victorian style mansion, but I'm not really sure what the point of these are. There's like too much wood that's blocking your view, so they don't feel very practical. I should have mentioned the carpet right as we walked into here, but I'm not really sure if I like this design or not. Maybe I would have preferred it more if the color of the wood was a little bit darker, and honestly that's going to be my main complaint throughout the entire mansion, because the wood here is just not dark enough to be a good... Uh, maybe contrast to the walls? Or maybe my problem is the walls. I guess we're gonna figure it out as time goes on. Oh, but I love this door, except Luigi calls it a little too ordinary. I think he's pointing this out because this is the door that you go through in order to enter the main mansion, so the game developers want you to, like, focus on it based on what Luigi says. But I feel like if we take that aside, Luigi would like this door. It has, like, a cool little heart pattern, just, just kind of a cute little entrance to your not-so-haunted mansion. Welcome to the parlor. Now, I'm not exactly sure what parlors are for, but I do like the vibe of this place. Except for the paintings. Let's get a little closer here. I want you to look at this guy's face. Like, really look at this guy's face. Look at his elongated nose, his beady eyes. I am absolutely disturbed by them. And then, you know, there's this woman over here. Oh, man. Okay. Like, I I'm trying to find a decent-looking gentleman or lady. Okay, that, that guy looks fine. In fact, he looks like... I thought he looked like Luigi a little bit, like an older, distinguished Luigi. I'm not the only one that thinks that, right? I hope not. I hope I hope I'm not crazy. Hope this place isn't driving me. Ooh! Oh gosh, this guy's mustache! Oh man, this whole place is kind of freaking me out. Okay, and the last last little lady here. Yeah, okay. I why is there a portrait of flowers? I should have mentioned how Luigi points out that they're creepy as well, so I'm not alone on this one. If you thought I was being mean, then, you know, you know, give Luigi some flack too. Luigi calling these pieces of glass rather old and fragile is interesting to me because according to EGAD, this mansion was just wished up or, you know, created by the booze within a single day, 
But how in the world is this like old and fragile then? Was it like made old and fragile or has it always been that way for years and the booze just like brought it from somewhere else? I'm not exactly sure. As for this cabinet, Luigi exclaims at it and calls it nice and clean. Okay, so he's calling it nice and clean. Let's just kind of... Yeah, dust pours out. Okay, Luigi, I'm not really sure I can take your word on that one. <laughs> Ooh, as for this chair here or couch, it, it really looks like it's in the middle. He says it's full of moth holes. There's moths in this mansion? How in the world do they even get in here? I haven't seen a single one. Maybe they just <laughs> didn't design them or whatever. Maybe they only wanted ghosts for some reason. You know, overall though, I really like the vibe of this place. You know, I, I give it some flack. Again, it is a bit of a fixer-upper. I take out some of the furniture. This this carpet here is really not doing doing it for me. Again, I would just, I would make this place a little bit darker. There's so many bright colors here. Like, look at the ceiling, man. You cannot tell me that this green ceiling meshes well with this yellow wallpaper, which the gray floor, I don't know, man. This place is kind of a mess. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. I looked up what a parlor room is in between rooms. This is the anteroom or anteroom or whatever. I didn't see what it said in the top left. Apparently a parlor room is kind of like a, a public room or a public space. Like if you were bringing over people to kind of hang out and stuff, you would put them in the parlor room. And this place is a bit of a waiting room, which is quite nice, but I feel like, okay, okay, actually, actually, no. Check out these things. Does Luigi have anything to say on them? No, he doesn't, sadly. This place is pretty cool. You know, it being a waiting room though, according to Google, I feel like there should be some chairs here, unless I'm being like a little ignorant, I'm not exactly sure. But waiting room? Do people just stand here? They just kind of chill? Am I doing it right? I hope I'm doing it right. I think the purpose of that room is made clear with the wardrobe room. Because you have like a lot of clothes here. Maybe people kind of like as their guests are arriving, they have them wait in the parlor room. Maybe they put on this top hat and this pretty hat here. And then they go into the waiting room while they're doing their final little get up. And then they go to the parlor room. It could be something like that. Now what I find really cool about these clothes is that when you click on them, Luigi has an individual comment about every single one of them. He doesn't have a blanket statement for each, so let's check them out. So for the white dress and the green button-up, he'll comment that it's a little pricey. For these kind of suits over here, he'll say that it's not really his style, which is fine and all, but when you <laughs> when you click on the red dress, though, he says these look kind of comfortable, and then he says, nah, I'll stick with my duds. I mean, like, he, he'll say the same thing for this shirt here, but you have to keep in mind that the developers designed it so these ones he said were pricey, these ones he said were like, looked a little uncomfortable or whatever, but then these three apparently are pretty good. <laughs> like, they're pretty comfortable. I just love that, like, Luigi is like canonically okay with wearing dresses. It's like, you go, dude, you do whatever the heck you want. I'm so proud of him. I am really digging this top hat, though. Oh my gosh, it looks great, but Luigi unfortunately says he's a little bit finicky when it comes to hats, so I guess he's not really digging it as much as I am. If you turn around, you can see some more painting on the wall, which I'm not really sure. Yeah, what kind of picture is this? I'm honestly not sure, dude. Hold on, let's get, let's take a closer look. Yeah, I have absolutely no clue. What about when it comes to shoes, Luigi? You have anything to say on that? Nah, he's it. Ooh, weird. I don't know what's weird about those shoes, Luigi. You really pointed out. I do like this carpet a little bit more than what we have seen. It looks rather fuzzy. The textures kind of help with that. I kind of dig it. I mean, again, the green, it could, it could stand to be a little darker, so I guess there's always something to complain about there. This balcony area is very nice. If it weren't for, you know, the fact that it overlooks a graveyard, we're going to have to get that removed. But what I do find pretty cool is that you can kind of see into the bedroom, although... <laughs> the glass is completely broken, so you're gonna you're gonna have to fix that one up, buddy. <laughs> Something that's really cool that comes with the place is this transporting mirror, where if you look into it, you'll just kind of whoosh all the way back to the foyer. Uh, that's something that you can impress guests with. You can also do the same with this little mirror over here, even though that you're already even though you're already in the foyer, you can kind of look at it a certain way, and the whole thing will flip around and transport you back to the main area. This is the main hallway for the living area, where this door leads us into the room where the father was, the study. So this is the place where, you know, I, I kind of treat it as a library. They kind of go hand in hand, like not every study is a library, so on and so forth. But this, oh man, this thing, dude, I love these. He says, looks like something might be in there. Yeah, it's a ship, Luigi. Come on, man. Dude, people who can make these little ships from outside the bottle, that is absolutely incredible. I think that's the coolest thing. Although some people I have seen cheat where they'll make the ship first and then they'll encase the glass around it, you know? So I, 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 look, I don't have as much respect for those people. Again, another example of Luigi commenting on the age of these things, which isn't really a big deal to me because like, these things look so cool, man. Does this study area not look like a great place to vibe? You got the rocking chair. 
chair as, frankly, as ugly as it looks. I don't know what is with this place in the yellow-green color scheme, man. It just doesn't work for me. But you have it right by the little campfire here, nice and toasty, while you can grab a little book and just kind of... Just kind of chill before, you know, Luigi comes over here and sucks you up. <laughs> oh, and there's a portrait of the family dog here. That's pretty cute. You, it's a picture, but you wouldn't call it our... Oh, come on, Luigi. Would you... Like, do you guys have portraits of your dogs up in your up in your house? I have. I, I mean, I have them for, like, my couple dogs and couple cats. So, you know, I, I, think, I think it's pretty wholesome. Horses, too. What? Oh, and we've got another top hat. Okay, this room is 10 out of 10. Good job, Dad. Here we've got the master bedroom, which is pretty tidy, all things considered. Let's see if Luigi has anything to say about the bed itself. I could just curl up there and sleep until dawn. Okay, well, look, if it was completely dusty and dirty, which it absolutely is, does this thing rock? Yo, is that just because Luigi's, like, putting a lot of pressure on it? I don't know, man. This thing looks like it's rocking a lot. Okay, this bed doesn't look the most comfortable. And then you have to consider that there's this breeze here, right? There's a little draft that comes in, and there's Toad on the opposite end that can watch you sleep if he looks over the railing. And this place overlooks a graveyard. So although it looked kind of comfortable when we first entered it, I'm not really sure if I would feel comfortable calling this my master bedroom. And I am a little tall, and I'm not really sure if this bed would kind of contain me. I'm six foot two, by the way. And I don't know, this doesn't really look... It feels like my feet would, like, hang over at the end, so I'm not really sure about that. This mirror... You know, I kind of like the design. This kind of like little little red accent over everything. But oh my gosh, these curtains are so not it. Like the, the blue flowers on here with the... I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just too picky. Maybe I'm kind of boring. Maybe I just have boring taste. <laughs> I think I have to consider that. Or are, are these... Is this supposed to be the mother and father? I mean, that, that would make the most sense, right? This is the master bedroom, after all. I mean, why would you have these random, like, portraits of just random people unless they're part of the family, too? In which case, I still feel like you would prioritize, you know, yourself and your spouse, you know what I mean? I don't know, maybe I'm weird. They have the nursery area close by to the master bedroom, which makes sense. So, like, you put the baby here in the crib, you know, you kind of rock it. Okay, hold on a second. You're telling me that that bed from before rocked a bit whenever Luigi messed with it, but the actual... Okay, there we go. There we go, the cradle. So you just have to hit it from, like, a weird angle or whatever. I'm not really sure. But it is cool how the nursery is close to the master bedroom. I'm, I'm glad it was constructed that way, because if the baby does any crying or anything, you can kind of go check up on him. Although there are one too many portraits of a baby here you've got a portrait of a baby over there you got one over here a third one over there that's it's a little little weird see like having portraits of your baby is completely fine but this is the same picture three times in a row like it i can't be the only one that finds that weird right and look at these blocks they don't say abc they say toy it feels like these, like the people living here were like aliens trying to assimilate into human culture. And they're like, oh god, um, it, it, it is a toy. So they, they decide to just T-O-Y. Maybe they're trying to teach the baby that it's a toy? I'm not exactly sure. Now that's just not my style. Mine neither, Luigi. But, you know, it is meant for, it is meant for a baby. I think you used to have one of these. Yeah, I did. Oh. The lore. Hey, it's flower season, isn't it? I almost forgot. Does that imply that Luigi's Mansion, like the story of it, takes place during spring? I mean, he says it's flower season, right? Do we just give ourselves a date for when Luigi's Mansion takes place? Has anyone talked about that? Maybe I'm just overthinking it. This place does have a lot of pink, but you know what? Yeah, I'll kind of accept it. There are a few too many cobwebs in the corners, but you know what? This whole mansion has that, and this place is haunted, to be fair, so I think it's the least of our worries. What I do like, along with the flower vase that you see here, is that the lamp here appears to be flower-shaped as well. Not your style, Luigi. Come on, man. You'll see that the wallpaper has some flowers here, but the lamp is shaped like a... Like a tulip, I believe? I'm not exactly sure, but I do find it cool nonetheless. We've also got the Room of the Twins, which has a little bit more style. I actually... Okay, okay, hold on. I actually really like this place. There's a lot to talk about. Now, I am a big fan of the color blue. Blue is my favorite color. You've got some stars down here. It's kind of astrology themed. So, you've got some stars on the wallpaper, some stars on the floor. You've got a big old star-shaped uh, little light up here. Oh, even the ceiling has stars. This whole place is really neat. Oh, and the little drawers have star handles on them, too. And you've also got the... You've also got some little portraits. You wouldn't call it art. No, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't call it art either. I mean, are, are these the pictures of the twins, maybe? 
They don't look anything like the twins in game, though. That's a little strange. Oh, and you've got a dartboard? Which is, you don't care much for pointy objects, Luigi. Well, you know what? That's okay, man. What about the poster here? You fan? Mmm, very elegant. Hold on a second, is this a poster of the mansion itself? This looks like it's supposed to be like an in-universe band of the Mushroom Kingdom, but if you take a close look at the background, you can see that Luigi's mansion is there. So does that mean that the band that whatever monsters is, like took a picture in front of Luigi's mansion as part of their poster? They're like, oh hey, look at this mansion. Oh, that mansion looks sick. Let's just do that for our <laughs> for our title drop, for our cover, our, our, our album cover, if you will. I think that's pretty sick. And this bottom left guy looks like Frankenstein's monster, so that's pretty cool. That looks like it might be fun to twirl, which you actually can if you take out your trusty old Poltergust something thousand, which is pretty cool. You can kind of make it go in a circle if you like. I'm pretty sure it's used somehow during the boss, right? I don't remember. Oh, when you click on the little car here and the little truck over here, Luigi says that he's always wanted one of these for a while. But guess what? When you click on the train here, he'll say, oh wow, I've always wanted one of these, which implies that he wanted the train more than the other two. I, I know this is a small detail to get hung up on, but I think it's really cute how the developers put in just a little more work to characterize Luigi in this game. And when it comes to the bunk beds, by the way, Oh man, that would not fit. <gasps> the star design comes back. I didn't even notice that. But when I was little, I always preferred top bunk. I thought it was pretty fun. Maybe it's because I kind of jumped off the top bunk a little bit, which, uh, you know, you, you probably shouldn't do. Now it's time to return to the first floor and explore the main section of the mansion. Starting with this hallway to this room over here, which I do have a little bit to say about. So this is the laundry room, also known as the only laundry room in the entire mansion. Now let me show you... <laughs> Okay, so so this is the first floor, right? We're right here. Now, you've got the basement, you've got the first floor, you've got the second floor, and you've got the third floor. And there is only a single laundry room for all of your needs. And this place, where does it lead? It leads to the butler's room. So the butler has full access to the laundry, which, you know, now that I actually makes some sense now. Actually, I think I might take it back. Maybe this family, you know, just employed the butler and brought all their clothes to the butler or bring all their clothes to the butler, and then he cleans it in this thing. I mean... That, that makes some sense, right? But still, I feel like you would want somewhat closer access to the laundry room, right? It's so out of the way. Like, how are you supposed to get to this thing from the third floor? I don't know, man. I mean, I guess it somewhat helps that the family quarters area, all you have to do is go downstairs and take a left to the laundry room here, but I would still prefer it being a little bit closer. Although, I guess I should have expected this kind of problem from a mansion, after all. <laughs> Speaking of which, he says, it must have been quite a chore to keep this old mansion clean. Oh, I am with you, Luigi. I totally get that. Oh, here's one of my favorite Luigi lines. Now, honestly, when it comes to hats, they must really be hand-washed. There's simply no substitute. I know my brother likes to put his through the washing machine, but that just seems careless to me. I, I just love little comments like that. I wish there were longer ones like this one throughout the mansion, but the fact that we got them at all is pretty good to me. Well, they surely did pile odds and ends everywhere. Filthy. You know if Luigi's calling your place filthy, you know, the laundry room filthy, when he's looking at the cleaning detergents for everything? Oh man, you know it's bad. And there's cobwebs here too. You would think that the place next to the butler's room would be a little cleaner, but I guess not. Money! As for the butler's room, this place looks very, very nice. Okay, so now it makes even more sense why the butler's room is right next to the laundry room, considering he has like a little ironing station here. Now that's a classic, I wonder how much it would sell for. What, the ironing station? I don't think the butler's gonna give it to you, Luigi. But he also has kind of a workshop here, which I think is pretty neat, which implies that like not only is his job just to clean clothes and keep the house clean, but in case there's ever any problems with the house, like that broken window we saw earlier, he can fix it, which uh, I think he needs to get to, but we kind of sucked him up, so that's kind of gonna be an issue. Oh, there's even a sewing machine here for if the clothes uh, kind of have any issues. I really have no use for this. A sewing machine? I, I, I am right, right? Like, I'm not wrong. Like, this is a sewing machine. What do you mean you have no use for it? That feels like a weird thing for Luigi. Well, I mean... Eh, I guess not everybody has a sewing machine in their house, but, you know, it makes sense why it'd be in a mansion. You would hope it's filled with a lot of useful things. How are you supposed to reach all the supplies up here? There's, like, no ladders. Was this designed after the fact, like after they had become ghosts or something? Because remember, this mansion is kind of implied that these people did live here as humans or whatever creatures they were first, and then ghosts later. So was this place, you know, made after? 
Because I, I don't... How are you supposed to reach it? Maybe Luigi's just that short and it's easy for the others to. Okay, if you want further proof that some areas of this mansion were made after the people were turned into ghosts, look no further than this room, the hidden room, where they have absolutely ridiculous amounts of money here. Which, you know, has has already, already been gotten. But, like, look at this place. Is, is this place, like hauled off on every end? Is there a false wall? Is there a secret entrance? I'm not really sure. Are you telling me that the only entrance to this place is this little mouse hole? I kind of doubt that my theory is correct, where, you know, certain parts of the mansion were made after the booze, you know, had already invaded it or whatever, because this place genuinely feels like it was made by humans. It, it doesn't feel like some kind of astral projection or anything like that. It feels very human made, so I'm not really sure how people are supposed to access it. I just don't really understand. But what about these paintings here? What does Luigi have to say? If you look closely, you can tell it's really just a photograph. Oh, interesting. I'm quite taken with this. Okay, I guess he guess he likes the woman in that one. What about this one? I'm quite taken with this. Okay. That's actually really interesting that Luigi's able to distinguish between like a drawn portrait and like an actual photograph because us as the players can't really tell, but Luigi lets us know. And <laughs> by the way, I didn't even talk about the design of this place. This place is ridiculously gaudy. Like, look at it. Oh my gosh. It's just gold. Everything shiny. Everything. I don't know, man. Like when you become rich, does your taste just become worse or something? No offense to any of my viewers out there that are like, like really rich look man if you have good taste then you have good taste cool but if you're designing your place to be gold studded everything diamond studded everything i don't know man like it probably doesn't look the best you, you have to get it done in a certain way not saying this place is bad per se like i've definitely seen a lot worse i would say that this is mid you know i'd say this is mid the red curtains certainly help everything because red curtains certainly feel like royalty to me like it's been a, an association in my mind that i haven't been able to get out oh wait hold on a second i think i noticed something oh there's a mirror on the back wall that if we use we can Oh my gosh, I never noticed that there's a mirror in this room. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, all right, all right, all right, 10 out of 10. That room gets 10 out of 10. I've never noticed that one before. Now, this next room, the ballroom, I really feel like should be next to the parlor room and the waiting room, right? Like, wouldn't that make sense that the waiting room where everyone's kind of getting dressed, like they would be getting dressed to go dance here, or that the parlor room, the entertainment room would be right next to the ballroom as well? It feels kind of strange to ask everybody, hey, let's go downstairs to the ballroom. I mean, I guess it should make more sense for it to be on the same level. I don't know. Okay, I do like these chandeliers though. Exquisite. Okay, I'm glad Luigi and I have similar tastes. I actually do like this room a lot. This is the first room in Luigi's Mansion that I pretty much dig because the floor you can see the the wood floor here is a bit darker you have like a red outline here i love black and white checker patterns oh my gosh i just love the contrast of black and white i think it's really cool and you can't see it now but these circles do circle around you know they, they kind of spin around so if you're doing a little ballroom dance with that special somebody under the chandelier you can see this little creepy old guy staring at you you know it's pretty cool you have these little seats here so if you're, you kind of need a rest from the ballroom dance you can kind of chill here with your homie. I think there's another pair of them over here. You got these pillars that are holding up the entire place. The light that's shining through from the chandeliers up here is very nice, but it's not like too in your face. You've got this painting here of not a uh, creepy guy staring at you, but just some flowers. Overall, I, I'd, I'd say this is my favorite room so far. This room kind of hits it for me. I'm not sure what this is. I, I guess this is just a window with the curtains over it, but the curtains are like on the other side? I'm not really sure. But overall, this room, pretty sick, pretty sick. I like it a lot. Now, this is an interesting place to put the storage room. The storage room is located right next to the ballroom. Okay, now, I can't be the only one to find that a little weird, right? Unless these boxes only contain dresses and, you know, stuff like that, I can't really excuse it. I wouldn't really like to purchase a mansion if the storage room is right next to the ballroom. I feel like the storage room would be better set, like... I don't know, maybe in the the basement or something? Like down here, but it's not. It's right next to the ballroom. 
I have to walk through the ballroom to get to my stuff. What if someone's hosting an event all the way here in, <laughs> in the ballroom and I need to go get my stuff and I'm like, okay guys, don't worry about me and I have to go all the way here to the storage room and then carry it back. That just feels a little inconvenient. There also aren't that many storage containers here. There's only like, what, six crates here? You got some chairs, which do match the chairs in the ballroom. So that makes me think that this place is strictly meant for ballroom storage but there just doesn't seem to be that much here oh you also have this little extra spot of the storage room which you can gain access to by hitting this button which says don't push huh w did the booze put this or was this from the family why don't they want it being pushed was there like some kind of secret back here oh well Maybe before there were booze, there was like something weird down here. Luigi doesn't have anything to say on it, but it makes me, makes me a little bit interested. Wait a minute. There's like a sign here that says danger, right? And then there's like a ghost, like being imprisoned. So what if the family thought there were like ghosts down here? And then they imprisoned them in here, right? I mean, certainly the ghosts themselves wouldn't put this danger sign, right? That would, like, that that would, I mean, I know they're, like, trickers or whatever. Like, they like doing, engaging in some, some trolling, some trickery. But certainly they wouldn't ruin their own plan by saying, Danger, there's ghosts here, Luigi. Like, that would feel a little weird. Huh. Interesting. I don't have enough to back up that theory, but it is at the very least interesting. I would like to see some more discussion on that. All the way back here and through this very long hallway, we can enter the bathroom or the washroom. Not sure what they are calling it the bathroom, but whatever, which has toad in it. Are you telling me that if I wanted to come here to take a leak to drain the lizard, if you will, <laughs> toad's just gonna, <laughs> he's just gonna stare at me. I think Luigi's even kind of like, <laughs> Look how excited Toad is. Hey, I'm here to walk. <laughs> I can't even. He's just right next to the toilet, dude. What are you doing? Get out of here. <laughs> okay, I am happy that this family is a part of the over crew when it comes to toilet paper. But look at all the holes in the toilet paper. Like, do, do moths eat toilet paper? I mean, Luigi said earlier that there were moth holes in some of the furniture. But do, do they do the same thing to toilet paper? Why is it so ripped on the sides? Who did that? How'd you even use this toilet? <gasps> even I can help you out, Luigi? What, while I'm taking a dump? <laughs> oh, God. For real, though, how do we use this toilet? Oh, man. Okay, how do you how do you flush it? Can you... Okay, okay, Luigi, you're really... You're gonna really help me... Uh, you're gonna have to help me out with this, man. Boy, these boos sure didn't make a realistic fake mansion. Oh, okay. A realistic fake mansion. Nothing usual here. Nothing unusual here. Boring, so he wants to see the unusual... Okay, so from what Luigi says, it says the Boo sure did make a realistic fake mansion. So this mansion wasn't made while there were humans alive or whatever. Are you telling me that all these people were born ghosts? But if that's the case, then how do you explain characters like this guy, Mr. Lugs, the glutton? He ate himself to death, but still wasn't satisfied. And then you've got the, the father, for example, who says he spends his afterlife reading all the books he missed while living. So that implies that these ghosts were living at one point, right? But when you look at this thing that Luigi here says, you know, they made a realistic fake mansion. So which is it? Did the booze make this realistic fake mansion and all these ghosts inhabit it? Did these ghosts come from afar? I, I don't really have an answer, and, I and I'm not claiming that I have an answer. I'm just curious. I think it'd be interesting to kind of figure out which one it is. I haven't really seen anyone discuss that before. Do booze wash their faces? <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, that that's an interesting question. Do booze wash their faces? Probably not, Luigi. I, I do not think so. Nothing unusual here. Whatever, man. It's just a bathroom with a toad in it. Nothing, uh, nothing to worry about. Oh, now here we've got the bathroom. Not sure why the bathroom and the washroom are two separate things. What is the difference? You've also got a sink here. Is, is this sink not meant for washing your face? I don't know, man. I, again, I'm really bad with this stuff. I don't know what the meanings for all these rooms are. But bathroom, washroom, why couldn't it just be just be one large thing, right? Like, why aren't they both called bathroom? Maybe they didn't want to name it the same thing? Or maybe there is a distinction I'm missing. I mean, this place doesn't have a, uh, doesn't really have a toilet. Normally, toilets are in the same place as a, as a shower. And then you, like, look at this shower here. I mean, there's a bathtub. Oh my gosh, that's a bulky bathtub. Luigi, do you have anything to say on that, man? Looks like this hasn't gotten much use as of late. I mean, that's interesting to say because there was a there was a ghost here. Petunia. A little strange. What's this 
What's this window? Does this window look outside? That's pretty cool. I, I, I really dig that. Like, being able to take a shower and you kind of look outside before. I've done that. It's pretty nice. It's a vibe. As for the bathroom itself, though, it has some of these blue dots, which is nice. It has the blue vibe. I really like it when bathrooms have a blue vibe. It really, really makes me need to go, you know? <laughs> Welcome to my favorite room, the conservatory, which is defined as a college for the study of classical musics or other arts. So it's not just called the music room or whatever. It's called the conservatory, as in, like, this is a place where people come to study this kind of thing, which I find a little bit interesting because you can also see some portraits up here, unless they're photog- oh. He just finds it weird. Come on, Luigi. You're, you're, you're our guide here, man. You're, you're the owner of this mansion. This is your mansion. You can't just say things are weird and not give us anything to work with, man. How about the instruments? You got anything to say on the piano? I never could play the piano. Oh, Luigi, what do you lack the dexterity? That's a little sad. How about the other instruments? What about the little drums here? Little drums. Come on, Luigi. You can play the drums, right? It looks old, but I bet it still has a nice tone. That it does. The other instruments he just says are old, kind of like the drums here, which makes me wonder if the piano is the only one that Luigi like really, really vibes with, because that's the only one he had a unique comment on. But enough about that. What is this ghost doing here? Oh my gosh. Was Luigi weird? Yeah, weird. You're right. He's carrying a trumpet that has two ends. Do you guys see that? Oh my gosh. What, what is that trumpet design? Is that some kind of instrument I've never seen before? I'm a little disturbed, but this place is really cool. I, I can always appreciate a good music room. I really like the carpet design here. Oh, the wood looks super nice. Oh, I would totally spend a lot of time here if I had this mansion. Back near the entrance, we've got the fortune teller's room, which has these rather unique things protruding from the ceiling. I'm not sure what they're supposed to be. You've also got the, you know, the main part of the fortune telling room, the crystal ball and chair, where Luigi says, what a lovely crystal ball. You know, these things give off such a beautiful glow when light shines on them and then comments on something to help you out during gameplay where you're supposed to take out your flashlight and make sure the fortune telling lady appears. But other than that, we've got some neat little wallpaper designs. I don't think I should call them wallpaper designs, but regardless, it's pretty cool. You've got a, uh, Ah, oh, what is that? Waxing gibbous? Waning gibbous? I'm not really sure. Oh, I'm gonna be wrong. I'm so sorry, guys. But you can see the whole little moon phases. Oh, isn't that cool? Look at the moon phases along the wall. It has them all. Oh, that's really cool. I love the little details on that. Sometimes I think I'm stupid for getting so hung up on... Not really hung up, that's not the right word. But getting so enamored by the little details. But, like, I just imagine, like, someone had to have gone in there and really designed every single part. These things don't just bam, they're done within a few seconds. They, ha they have some actual effort put into them, and I think it's pretty wholesome that people actually put the effort in. But what is this cheese doing here? Ooh, the mirror room. Now, this place is pretty interesting, although I'm not exactly sure what it's for. Again, this place feels like it would be better suited next to the parlor, or next to a clothing room where you're trying some stuff on. Maybe you're with a few friends and you guys came out of the wardrobe area, and you're like, hey, let's look at ourselves in the mirror, and you all just stand up here for like a group photo or something. But no, no, this place is right next to the fortune telling room. I, I guess I just don't really understand the logic behind it. Although this carpet here is kind of interesting, has like some strange pixely checkerboarded pattern. You've Oh my god, there's that guy staring at me again. I'm so sick of this guy staring at me in different rooms. It's so creepy. Looks like something might be in there. Yeah, gee. Oh man, good observation, Watts. <gasps> A heart. Luigi was trying to give us a heart. I'm sorry, Luigi. As much flack as I give this room, I do find it pretty cool. Although, I would change the location of it a bit. I think it being right next to the fortune-telling room is a little bit of a strange decision. And here we've got the dining room, which feels more like a dining hall or a banquet hall. Look how long this place is. You can even see all the food that was left over, all the drinks that was left over. Look at all that. And there's like bones laying about. You can see that people didn't even clean up after themselves. There's like glass on the floor. Maybe this was kind of like a party area. Some glass is broken back over there. You see some drinks over here. Candlelight makes any ordinary room simply beautiful. You know what, Luigi? I vibe with that, dude. I like that a lot. But then you see all this cheese again. What is with the cheese? Who's leaving some rotten cheese back in there? Yo, who who, who stashed their cheese under their chair? It was like like one of the twins, you know, kind of eating here and like their mom's like, oh, don't overeat or whatever. And he's like, oh, sorry, mom. And then he stashes it under his chair and then he forgot about it. Oh my gosh, that thing's got to be rotten or something. Ew. And now I'm starting to think about the fact that there are not enough chairs. There's, there's like only two. There's two chairs. 
Hold on a second, now that I think about it, you've got all the food and plates here on one section, there's nothing in the middle, and then all the food and plates here on another section. So does that imply that there were only two people eating in this dining hall regularly? I mean, even the trash only is on one side of the table and on the other side of the table. Okay, come on, that can't be the case. Two people? For one area? I mean, Mr. Lugs was here, that one ghost who just ate himself to death, so maybe they kind of designed it after the fact, just for him. But that wouldn't really explain why there's two here instead of one. I don't know, man. As you should have expected, there is a kitchen right next to the dining room, which is actually rather large. Dude, I like large kitchens. And you've got a table here with no chairs. Although, maybe this, uh, maybe this table isn't really meant to be eaten on. Maybe the food is prepared here in the oven or stove or whatever, and then placed here on the table, and then they kind of take it over, which would make some sense. I mean, you've got some glasses here. You've got, like, this, uh, tea bottle, whatever you call this, I'm sorry. And then you bring it on over. I'm willing to bet that there's something cold in there. Wow, Luigi. Something cold in the refri- Ow! What I do like is that it doesn't specify any kind of food in particular. It just says food. <laughs> It just says food. Oh, and there's like a picture of like a fish here on one thing. Uh, and cheese. Oh, guys, look, the cheese. It says cheese here. There's so much cheese. There's cheese there. There's cheese there. No wonder we're seeing so much cheese around this mansion. They're just stacked with cheese. And I, I do love me some cheese, some refrigerate. Why is there a vase in here? Oh, and now you have the oven here, which is right next to the refrigerator, which Luigi comments on by saying it's gone out. Would relighting it do any good? I wonder if it would. I'm gonna test that right now. Would relighting the oven work? Survey says. N no. You've got the dishwasher here, but you know, this kitchen overall pretty nice. You got the sink, you got the oven, you got, you know, some stove top and actually I don't think there's a stove top here. I mean, oh wait, no, yeah, there it is. There's a stove top. You've got your refrigerator. You've got all the necessities. I feel like if you're gonna have a long banquet hall though, then you might want a, ooh, there's no microwave actually. <laughs> <laughs> There's no microwave here. Maybe they're a little too fancy for that. <laughs> Interestingly enough, the kitchen leads to a place called the Boneyard, which I believe is meant for the dog, per se, maybe? There's a little sign here. What's written on that sign? Here lies Mr. Bones. Quiet. Okay, so the Boneyard is clearly just meant for Mr. Bones. This isn't meant to be some kind of patio of some sort. You've got a nice old plant here that you're able to kind of tend to. And you've got his, uh, his little, uh, <laughs> his place right here. Although, I'm not really sure why you would have the dog area right outside of the kitchen where he's able to smell everything. Like, if you open up the windows there, or even if you open up the door, the dog is going to get a waft of all that stuff and be scratching at the door, or at least I feel like most dogs would. Why would you torture the poor guy like that? And we have another example of a place here that can't be accessed through natural means. I don't know if they expect you to be able to contort your body inside this stump and and pop out where the doghouse is, or just jump the gate here or jump the balcony, which you should never do, but uh, yeah, graveyard. Something sad here about the graveyard is Luigi's comment here. I guess you just can't plan for this sort of thing. I don't know, just kind of, just kind of sours my mood a little bit, it makes me a little sad. And honestly, there's not so much to comment on the graveyard overall. It's a, it's a graveyard, like in a mansion. Or, like, on the back of a mansion, dude. Like, what am I supposed to say about that? Why do they make the graveyard here in the first place? Maybe this estate has been around for, like, so long that they wanted all the people who, like, made the estate in the first place, like, great-grandparents or older relatives, to kind of have a place to have their soul settle. I, I think that could be somewhat wholesome. You know, you have them close by to you. I, I don't know why you just wouldn't have, like, the ashes or have them cremated or something. Although, maybe this took place, like, many, many, many years ago where cremation wasn't really an option. I mean, it wouldn't really surprise me considering the way that this mansion looks. Hmm. Welcome to the courtyard, which is... <laughs> which has a gate that blocks you from the, the woodlands back there. Now, this place is quite pretty, don't get me wrong, you got this... Cool little lantern thing hanging above you. Now that is what I call it, interior decorating. Luigi, this is not interior decorating. This is exterior decorating. You've got that. You've got this weird statue. What's it praising? What's it What's it looking at? I'm not even... What's it doing? What, what is this thing? What does Luigi have to say about it? Probably nothing with our luck. Yeah, weird. Okay. Yeah, so you have the statue. You've got the lantern. Oh, you've got the fountain. I'm pretty sure that there's another statue over- Oh, there's like some kind of birdhouse over here, dude. Yeah, there's another statue over here. And then there's woodlands in the back. 
Like, like, you, you got Bigfoot back there. You've got, you've got any kind of monster that can just come out of there and do whatever they want to you. And you've got the spooky looking trees. Like, th these trees scream spooky. <laughs> Didn't anyone ever tell these ghosts to not waste water? Well, what's wrong with the fountain, man? What, is, like, is some water getting outside the fountain? Is that Luigi's problem with it? Or is it being recycled? Oh, yeah, some of it is. I saw, yeah, some drops are going outside the fountain. So, yeah, they are wasting a little bit of water. Shame on you, booze. No one's watered this in a long time. How very sad. Yeah, I, I would say because the water fountain is right there. It wouldn't be very hard. You could just grab some of the water and pff, just plop it in right there. Man, the butler really needs to get his act together. Looks like the residents like hanging their things up to dry here. Do they, like, not prefer using a dryer? Or something or do they just you know like doing this instead nothing wrong with you know doing things by the basics i'm just curious oh please tell me he has something to say about the birdhouse okay wouldn't it be nice if i could raise carrier pigeons here okay that's pretty good i i, I i'm gonna need to see some artwork of luigi with a carrier pigeon or something like they've made that canon it's on them and now we can <laughs> access the toad in here not sure what he is still doing just looking cute, looking happy. Gosh, this is the only game that I can tolerate looking at a toad's face in. Whatever, man. And now we go down the well to the bottom of the well. Ooh, where there's a little little lantern here. I sure the wonder how old this is. He just keeps commenting on how old things are. I know, man. It's pretty antique. Oh, that's right. We can look into the secret altar through here. And but what Oh wait, there's a mirror there. Are we able to go back to the main area by Oh my gosh, we could actually get it from here? Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh man, I will never not be amazed at that. And here we've got the rec room where you can get those gains, baby. Yeah. How about you, Luigi? You looking to get some gains, man? You looking to get some gains? I really should work out more. Maybe I ought to throw a few quick jabs while I'm here. Well, we already did one and it didn't really work out so well. Ha, work out so well. Ha <laughs> ha. What in the world is this machine? I've never seen this machine in a workout room before, or just any room for that matter. My brother might be able to lift this. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I, I like how he thinks of Mario every now and again. Okay, I get it. This is a workout room. Why are there swords here? I don't care much for pointy objects. Yeah, I mean, I feel ya. I don't know why they're here, though. It's a little weird. What about the treadmill? I've always been a good runner. You have been a good runner, but you are very slippery, so please keep that in mind. We probably should- Oh god, he's on the treadmill. Here we've got some, what look to be, like, ladders of some sort? They, they almost look like they connect to the ceiling. At first I thought that these, these were some, like, really weird kind of pull-up bars, but I guess not. <gasps> Full moon. Okay, so we got his thoughts on treadmills, but what about bikes? I'm not so interested in bikes. Aww. But like, like exercise bikes are nice. You know, they're they're kind of they're kind of fun. I mean, it's it's not it's not the best exercise, but you know, they, they, they could be fun. I like this lantern that hangs down from here. Now that is what, yeah, the, yeah, okay, okay, Luigi, I see you, I see you. Okay, we're we're kind of in sync. I do like how there's a window right next to the workout room, just so you can kind of look outside and hear the birds chirping and look at the trees and just be one with nature as you make your gains. Right in here, we've got the billiards room where we actually have a decent looking photograph or what is it oh yeah well it's a photograph see look now i'm kind of getting an eye for this stuff we've got some decent looking photographs here oh we got the pool table here which is kind of nice he's always wanted one of these so it looks like luigi's digging it too we've got a chess table here where there's only the white pieces set up don't know where any of the other pieces are you've even got some of the the pool sticks billiard sticks i don't know they're kind of hanged up along the wall so everybody can kind of get a turn except that one way in the distance it has some cobwebs on it man like i, I kind of like this place i mean you, you got some drinks for like you know the older folks that want to kind of you know get, get a little you know have some fun i guess but th this place is pretty cool and it actually works with the green ceiling i haven't liked the green ceiling in like any other room besides this one and the walls look pretty nice, so I kind of like this one. Right next door, we've got the projection room, which is, you know, I, I guess for just watching movies. I, I know that sounds obvious and stuff, but there's no chair, so I was kind of thrown off. I mean, you put those reels inside the projector here. Well, let's see what Luigi has to say about it. Looks like a fun place to make shadow puppets. Maybe that's the whole point of this room, for shadow puppets. 
because there's no chairs to sit on, so I guess you would just sit on the floor, there doesn't really seem to be that much of a sound system here, although the walls kind of look cushiony, like they would dampen some sound, and you can see that the ceiling kind of goes up and down, up and down to kind of absorb sound as well. Wonder what this place would sound like. But yeah, you've got all the reels, you've got the projector, so I could imagine this being a fun time with some friends. We are now entering the tea room, which feels a lot more like a dining room than the dining room did. I mean, in terms of the table layout, because look, you actually have more than two chairs. There's four chairs here for a table, and then there's another four chairs for this table. And yeah, look, you got your whole tea set up here, I guess. What's this? This certainly adds to the atmosphere of the place. What, the teacup? In the tea room, Luigi? Okay, man. Okay, what I really find cool about these upside down sections is that if you go into first person, then you're gonna be in first person upside down. <laughs> so they kept the camera to be upside down as well, which is pretty trippy. As for the chairs here... What's this? Eek? Oh, it's just a chair. Okay, uh, I don't know what Luigi's deal with this room is. He's just, just gets freaked out by some chairs. Okay, man. And right up here, we've got another washroom. One that does not contain a toad staring at me. It is in the same kind of layout as the washroom that's directly beneath this one, although this one has a leak. I'm not sure if the other one did. Oh, and we have another monsters poster. So instead of toad staring at you as you take a leak, you've got these guys staring at you while you take a leak. I'm not sure which one is better. And of course, you've got another bathroom, which looks pretty much identical to the one that was downstairs in almost every conceivable way, so not much to say here. And right across from the bathroom is a Nana's room, complete with a sewing machine right in the back corner over here. And if I remember correctly, there was a sewing machine in the butler's room as well. And in Nana's room here, you've got some portraits of other family members, I assume, because Nana's just that wholesome. I wonder what Luigi's thoughts are on... Now, ooh, what's this? Looks fancy. Ah, yeah, he approves of Nana's drip. How about the basket, Luigi? What do you think about it? I bet those would fall if I gave this a good shake. What, what, just shaking the basket? Come on, man, don't do that. What, what are you trying to do here? Oh, what's... Oh, I, I know what this... Looks rather old and fragile. Oh man, I really hope Luigi would point out what this is, man. Oh, I'm so bad. I can't remember it. Oh, I do have to give this room credit where it's due. Nana does know how to make a neat place. But forget about Nana's room. We're entering my favorite rooms in the entire mansion, Astral Hall and the Observatory, which we're about to check out. So I love astrology-themed areas. You've got the black and white checkerboard, which I mentioned earlier in a different room. You've got the stars. There's like some wings on there. There's these stupid cobwebs. Which, which don't deserve to be here. Oh my gosh, this place is just so cool. Uh, Luigi, I, I, don't, I don't really appreciate that, man. I, why, why are you laughing at my taste? At least he thinks the drawers look fancy. I mean, I, I don't really appreciate Luigi laughing at my taste, man. It's, it's not very nice. What about the star? You have anything to say on the star, you stupid plumber? Whatever, man. Let's just go into the cooler room. The observatory. Oh my gosh, this place is so sick. I have no idea how it works in the mansion. I, I can only imagine that it transports or is like infused with like some kind of other dimension due to the power star that was here or something. Because you know in Mario 64, the Power Star has the ability to open up doors or seal doors and stuff like that. So I imagine that's similar to what happened here when the Power Star was present, you know. But how in the world? Like, like what if I what would happen if I were to break down this door or break down this wall or put a hole through the floor? I have absolutely no idea. Okay, with this chair, Luigi says, was someone trying to show off or what? What do you mean, Luigi? It's just a blue chair. Well, what about this? Okay, so hold on. Th there was that gaudy, like, place from before that was completely gold-encrusted, but you didn't say, oh, was someone trying to show off? But, like, there's just regular blue chair, and you're asking, was someone trying to show off? I don't know what your deal is, man. Oh, man, this place is just so pretty. Th this Stardust Speedway, if you will. You can see the stars all over you, just glimmering in the night sky. And there would be a moon, but we did destroy it. This place, ugh. Oh. Th th this is the place where you would go to meditate. Like, if this was an actual room in the mansion that, like, I purchased or whatever, this, I would just come over here, you know, at any time I'm not, not feeling the greatest, I would just walk down this pathway, I would sit here, and, oh, whoa, there's, there's like a star descending upon me. <laughs> That's how it would feel. I would just meditate here and let all the good vibes flow through me. Here we have the sitting room. Easily what I find to be the ugliest room so far. I'm sorry, man. So we've got these flowers on the wall, these weird, um, weird paintings. Not sure what to make of them. So you've got these, like, 
these kind of cheesy flowers on the wall. You've got these weirdly flowery designs on the... I don't know, man. Maybe I just don't like flower designs. Like, I, I can appreciate some dark red flower designs, kind of like what the pink stripes are doing here, but these light colors like orange and green, it just... Just looks a little weird to me. And Luigi here says, well, they sure did pile odds and ends everywhere. Filthy. So he <laughs> he's calling this place filthy. So I'm glad Luigi and I are in sync for this one. I do like this vase here. You can see it has like some seaweed. Ooh, some water came out. But you can see it has some seaweed here. Breathtaking. A simple design with a dash of casual elegance. It looks like <laughs> Luigi's quite taken with this one. I'm, I'm not really sure what... Well, what attracted Luigi to this piece of design out of all the ones we've seen so far, but you know what? You do you, man. Looks like this is a coat hanger of some sort? Oh gosh, I'm just so finicky when it comes to hats, but there's no hats hanging here, Luigi. Okay, so th this is like a hat hanger. Could be, maybe could be a coat hanger. You might be able to get away with it. So, so what is this sitting room? Well, I guess we should, okay, okay, let, let's take a look at the other room here kind of okay so this is the guest room right so that other place is the sitting room for what though I i'm not really sure but this guest room looks pretty cool and this bed okay this bed can take me like b being as tall as i am yeah man i'm tired that bed sure looks comfy this bed looks really comfy like that master bedroom bed we saw before is nothing compared to the guest room bed which is kind of wholesome when you think about it that the master bedroom bed isn't as good as the bed that you have for guests to sleep in you know no i think that's i think that's pretty cool but yeah for sure i would totally sleep in this bed if there were no dolls staring at me while I slept. So much dust, this will never pass the white glove test. What's the white glove test? Is it just like, you put your finger on it and if any dust goes onto your uh, onto your glove? Is that a real thing? Luigi make that up? I don't know, man, maybe it's his own personal thing. Something weird about this guest room though, which I didn't really point out yet, is that there's another portrait of a girl over there. Now who is this supposed to be? Yeah, Luigi, I'd like to know too. Imagine you go to someone's house and you're trying to sleep and you like turn over and sleep on your right like a like like a normal person and then you see you see you see this face looking at you what do you do man if you fall down the chimney here from all the way on top of the roof you'll enter the sealed room now i have absolutely no idea how anyone would reach this place, except, I guess the door is barricaded. You know, it, it's kind of funny, when I first played this game and I saw that the door was barricaded, I thought that I had to use the fire to get rid of it, you know? I really feel like it should have been barricaded with steel or something to kind of tell the player that it's not possible to burn down, but, you know what, that's beside the point. This place is enormous, that hidden room from before ain't crap, look at this, man! Oh my gosh, these treasure chests are huge, what are they storing in here? Are they storing bodies in here, man? It's so scary. But for real though, this place looks absolutely stunning. And although I did kind of make fun of the gaudiness from before, it's kind of growing on me. I mean, what can I say? I've got exquisite taste. We now make our way up to the third floor where you're kind of able to see an imprint of the roof of the place. Can I see that? You can kind of see a little bit of the... A little, little, little bit of the slant here. And now we've got the safari room where I won't really comment on anything here. In fact, I'll just let Luigi say everything that I want to say. As we make our way into the hallway, we can actually see a little window here. Unfortunately, we aren't able to like look through the window and see the pathway Luigi took to enter the mansion in the first place, but you know, this thing is pretty cool nonetheless. In here, we've got the artist's studio. Now I hope Luigi has some things to say about some of the art here. I think that'd be pretty cool. Okay, all he says is that one's weird. What about this one? This one's like a little not particularly interesting. Okay, I guess I, I guess I just have bad taste. Come on, Luigi. This one's a Biff Atlas. You have to have. I really have no use for this, man. L Luigi, I'm, oh my gosh, we're just we're just not in sync at all here. There's like, well, there's a lot of like paint on the floor. What do you have anything to say about the paint on the floor? No. Anything about the paintings? It's a picture, but I wouldn't call it art. G Luigi. Like, come on, man. Like, there's a lot to say about this place. I mean, I get it. Like, there's a lot of gradients here. This looks like a watercolor. But, like, come on. The stone statues. I can't be the only one that thinks that's at least a little cool. Whatever, man. Let's just leave this place. Luigi's bumming me out. This door, we've got the balcony. Oh, man. This statue here is pretty cool. And, look, Luigi likes it. So, okay. You're actually getting some taste. 
Now, I actually love this place. This place is actually quite open. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a balcony quite this large before, unless it was like a restaurant balcony of some sort. But for a mansion, even a mansion, I don't think I've seen any like quite this big. I don't know, maybe I just haven't looked around enough. But, oh, Luigi is not tall enough to look over this. <laughs> He's getting height shamed right now. But no, this place is nice. You've got some like little benches here. I'm not really sure what you would look at. I guess you would look this way, you know? Oh, you can kind of see the roof of everything, which we will get to in a moment. You got some lanterns up here. You can look down into the graveyard, see Grandma down there. And we're leaving. <laughs> to the left here, we've got the armory. Now, this place is pretty cool. I'm not really sure what you would use it for. Th this feels like a very specific room from someone that's kind of like a collector of medieval objects. Simply delightful. I mean, it looks like Luigi's a fan of it too. What about the chest? You got something to say about the chest, Luigi? One really shouldn't open this kind of thing without asking. Honestly, we are way past that. How about the shield, dude? How about the shield? I bet it'd look pretty tough wearing one of these. Oh, Luigi with the shield. Oh, now I'm imagining Luigi with like, like the weapon up here, this suit of armor, and the shield. I think he looked pretty cool. You know, he's gonna play some Elden Ring. You know how it is. But this place, you know, overall, I find to be pretty sick. I wouldn't personally dedicate an entire room to an armory like this, even if I had my own mansion. But this place is pretty sick, not gonna lie. I mean, I wouldn't have these things where if I touch it, bam, I just get hit. I'd probably make it a little bit more safe, but just like Luigi, I'm a fan of it. Right next door to the armory is the Ceramics Studio, which isn't as specific as the armory. I can kind of see, I can see mansions having a ceramic studio more often than an armory, right? So let's see what Luigi feels like about some of these vases. Don't just call them old. Oh, I just called them old. I wonder why only this one's frozen. Yeah, gee, I wonder why too. It's kind of the kind of the main set piece of this room. Not really sure if the residents intended that. But although this is a ceramic studio, how come there's nothing here to kind of make the vases or pots or something? Like, like, uh, unless I'm blind or something, right? Like, th there, there isn't anything here to make these things, right? I, I don't really know what the point of it is then. Across the hallway, we've got the telephone room. Now, this is weird to me. So they have an entire room dedicated to telephones. They don't have telephones in their own rooms. They, they have to go, hold on, they have to go all the way to the third floor. So if the family, for example, let's say if the family was in their master bedroom or whatever, you know, just kind of chilling, or maybe Maybe the kids were there. Maybe one of them wanted to go make a call. They would have to go down to the foyer, walk through the whole area, go upstairs to the back of the second floor, and then they have to walk all the way to the front of the mansion, go upstairs to the third floor here, then they would have to go out to the balcony, through the hallway, and enter the telephone room. All that just to make a call. Kinda nutty. Ooh, there's kind of a poster here for like a... Uh... A little western movie, maybe? I thought it was Indiana Jones at first, but it looks like it's kind of going for a more western vibe, so I decided to bail on that thought. Luigi says that we shouldn't be opening these chests, but we're gonna- Oh my gosh, look at all the money. I do like how, for the most part, the third floor areas are, like, completely encased in wood. Like, they feel like attic areas, you know? I think it fits with the vibe. Now for the most unexplainable room, and arguably the weirdest one of all, the clockwork room. Look at the face of this thing and tell me you aren't disturbed. I've been wanting one of these for quite a while. <laughs> Luigi just said he was, he's been wanting one of these for quite a while. These, one of these. Luigi's been wanting one of these for quite a while. Oh no, Luigi. Oh gosh, I'm gonna, I really would love for him to elaborate on that. Oh, these clockwork soldiers are kind of disturbing. Yeah, kind of disturbing in a way. I don't, I don't know what to, I, I can't make heads or tails of them. Like the, those are the, those are, oh, those are the legs. Like just the way they move around too. It's very, very strange. This whole place. I hate cuckoo birds, man. What's this? Yeah. Okay. So it freaks him out. Oh wait, no, it's just a chair. You're, you're getting freaked out. I, I thought you were getting freaked out by the cuckoos just coming out and spooking you, but no, you're getting freaked out by the chair again. Come on, man. Oh my gosh. This clock has a top hat. Not only that, it has little like miniatures here that have top hats as well. I love it. Uh, this one has a clock here, which, you know, in the main foyer, we saw a clock that was set for like three o'clock, but this, this, this one's at four o'clock. So I, I guess all the clocks in the house just aren't synced up properly. The main set piece of this room has got to be the little houses here. And, you know, I say little, but they most certainly are not little. I'm pretty sure the entire clockwork soldiers are able to fit into this place. Are they meant to like put on a play of some sort? 
I'm not exactly sure. W what's most strange about this place, most of all, though, is that it is what leads up to the roof of the entire house. Like, this is an elevator here, what you're just seeing. Like, there's no, like, stairs up to the top of this place. There's no regular elevator to the top of the mansion. You have to go through the clockwork room. Very strange. These pillars here are just kind of sitting about. They're not really holding up anything. I guess they're just for decoration or something? I wonder what Luigi has to say on something like this. Not really anything at all. Don't really blame him. There's like a random campfire here. Looks ordinary. A little too ordinary. Yeah, right? Isn't that weird? I, I guess like they kind of keep guests up here or like, you know, kind of gather the family around the campfire so you can kind of look out into the distance from your mansion and... Yes, see the black void beneath you because the render distance isn't wide enough or long enough. This is also where we dropped into that one secret room down below. Not really safe. This chimney, however, is kind of locked off, which makes me wonder if the original one was locked off as well, but they just decided to kind of take these metal bars out and make a room below it. Heading down to the basement, heading down to the basement. We were just on the first floor, now we're heading down to the basement where we can see the breaker room. This is the place where you flip the switch after the whole mansion loses its power. And this place just looks like it's held up by just a bunch of nails, man. It does not really look secure at all. Like, it, it, you know, just seeing the state of this breaker room overall is giving me doubts on even buying this mansion. When it comes to this table, Luigi says he hopes it's sturdier than it looks. That's a... That's like kind of kind of an odd thing to say. I wonder why he didn't comment on any of the other tables like that. What about the barrels? Got any cool references for us? This could be handy in case of fire? Wait, why is it... Are, are these like full of, are these water barrels? Uh, maybe they're water barrels. I don't know why he said they're handy in case of fire. They're made, they're wooden barrels. I hope there's water inside of them so Luigi doesn't look like a fool. Although this place is kind of cool. Like it, it has this dreary vibe. It's made out of cobblestone. You've got like a, a single light that's somehow illuminating the entire place perfectly. You know, pretty neat. Here we have the cellar, which looks more like a storage room than the actual storage room on the first floor did. Like, there's so much dust here, there's so many, like, knickknacks and goodies. Like, you know that people haven't gone down in this place in a long time with how much dust there is. Oh my gosh. You can see some barrels, you can see some, like, vases, maybe some trophies that the kids won that the parents don't care about anymore. <gasps> there's a poison mushroom. That just goes to show how dirty this place is. Jeez. And unsurprisingly, none of this place will pass the white glove test. But will it pass the upside down glove test? No. Oh, this is my favorite favorite hallway in the game and you really feel like you're kind of in the end game at this point like if i turn my flashlight off like the cobwebs really add to the aesthetic the doors feel like it just feels like you shouldn't be down here you know like if something happened to luigi right now no one would be able to save him i really like the vibe through this door we've got the cold storage oh my god Gosh, why is it so freezing in here? What reason is there to have a cold storage? Could someone tell me? I'm not really sure. Like, okay, okay, like, like may, I, I can get, like, cold storage for food and stuff like that. I mean, okay, like, look at Luigi here. Like, he's gonna, like, he's shivering. Like, it is ridiculously cold in here. Like, his slippery mechanics are even gonna be more slippery. Yeah, frozen solid. That makes me cold just looking at it. Yeah, this whole place is freezing. Like, are they storing something that we shouldn't know about in here? I mean, look, is this... Like, like, someone's camping out in here. You got these, like... <laughs> you got these cans. Like, maybe there's some tuna in there. Maybe there's, like, a campfire going in there. Like, jeez. What's especially concerning is how deformed this place looks. The ceiling has, like, icicles that are kind of coming down. Some of the ceiling looks like it's drooping a little bit. It definitely doesn't look safe at all. Although, I will say, after a really hot day, this is definitely the place I would love to go. But then, you've gotta wonder, how in the world is this wooden door the only only thing that is not frozen solid here. It's a mystery. Right in here, we've got the pipe room, which looks just as abandoned as the breaker room. In fact, this whole place is leaking water. Oh my... Oh, oh, what? Oh, oh, I got scared. I didn't even notice that was there. But yeah, pipe room. This whole place is leaking. You're supposed to like... Uh, ice up the water here. Like, like, like the, 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 there was a river here. There was a river here with how much it was leaking. Like, this place almost has its own ecosystem with how much all these pipes are leaking. And no one's going to be able to do anything about it because the butler's gone. Like, he can't fix anything. This whole place is going to eventually flood. I don't know how to feel about this. Well, Luigi knows what to feel like spinning that thing over there, which 
probably wouldn't help much of anything here in the long run. And as for the crate, he just thinks it looks like it's in the way. Our last real place to check is after this winding hallway, which is shaped unlike anything else we've seen so far. But then we enter our final room of the tour, the secret altar. I have no clue what this place was built for. Sure, King Boo's using it right now to admire his Mario painting, but what about before? What would one do here? Admire the craftsmanship? That certainly seems to be what Luigi wants to do, because, you know, this candle is fabulous. Along with this lion statue, apparently, which he would like to put in his bathroom. Rather unique taste there. As for the Mario painting, all he says is, what in the world is this? Would have liked a larger reaction. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, this room is pretty sick and if I had some enormous secret to store and hide somewhere, then this would be a grand place to do so. Minus King Boo, of course. And with that, we have toured all of Luigi's Mansion, which is full of tons of rooms with tons of charm. But they do come with their fair share of problems that need to be fixed up if you want a decent stay in this place. Other than that, though, I'd say this place is well worth the cost. So if you won't buy it, then I will. Thanks for watching, consider becoming a member of this channel, and I'll see you tomorrow for more of the June Zoom. Take care.